Hello there and welcome. My name is Denise Cooper and you're going to be seeing quite a bit of me over the next couple of days. And so this is the beginning of our conference and it's traditionally always started the same way. So I'm going to show you a brief presentation and then we'll be on our way. Okay, so I want to wish you all a happy Inner Source Day. This started kind of as a joke, but truthfully, we say it to each other now in, this, in the commons. The people that are sort of core to the commons uh, have been known to say this to each other. Uh, this is the 11th time I've said it to you. And uh, I hope that you really learn a lot in this next two days and that you have an opportunity to talk to some people, make some friends, maybe get attached to us as a community. We're actually a great group of people. And, um, if you agree, then maybe we'll see more of you. All right, a little bit about us. First of all, our origin. We owe a huge debt to the Apache Software Foundation, which codified this way of working. And to some of our friends from that community, I've been an Apache member for a long time now. Uh, and, you know, we have a few other members here at Intersource Commons that came from Apache. And we worked very hard to try to explain the parallels between um, open source and inner source uh, through the lens of the Apache way. Um, this time, we're lucky to have this gentleman, this is a picture from a few years ago, uh, who coined the term inner source. This is, of course, Tim O'Reilly. And um, he was working with Brian on a company when he came up with this term. And you'll hear more about that during his keynote but he's definitely part of our origin story. So what have we completed recently as an organization? Well, we've done a couple of meetings. Uh, the first virtual meeting that we ever held was only last April. It just seems like a long time ago. It was meant to be an in-person meeting. And of course, because of the pandemic, we had to change to virtual and we really loved it. We had an amazing engagement. 99% of the people who turned up stayed for every second of it. Even the keynote speakers came back because it was so engaging. So we're hoping that we're gonna find that same gear this time. I also gave one of the largest speeches of my life for GitHub Satellite. There were 40,000 people registered for that event. And I talked about the inevitability of inner source and how it would be helpful in sustaining open source. You can find that talk online. And we also got further with our training resources. We basically come to a plateau in creating new content for the learning path for the time being. Um, we hope to make more in the future, but right now what's happening is people are picking up the work we've already done and providing local language um, localizations. And we'll talk more about that over the course of the conference, but we're really happy to see that because we want this to be a global movement. Also in progress and um, extra points, if you know what this is, this is this, the roof of um, the Sagrada Familia uh, Cathedral in Barcelona, which is of course famously slow to finish. So we started an affiliate sponsorship program and we, uh, we don't have any announcements to make that I know of today, but we're very close with a number of our affiliate sponsors. We're looking mostly for sponsorship for 2021 uh, and the rest of this year as well. So if you're interested in that, if you're from a company that's doing well with Intersource and you'd like to see more Intersource happening, uh, that's a good way to get involved as a corporation. Um, and this is a picture of the underlying struts under a famous tower. All right, um, we're also doing a lot of work documenting how we've been working together because we're getting a new crop of people showing up to join us. And we find that although it made sense to the, you know, 10 or so of us that started this thing, now we need to do a better job of explaining ourselves. Um, so, We've got some people who've recently joined who are really into efficiency and making sure that everybody's using their time as wisely as possible. We really appreciate them. And um, this is an interesting photo, actually. This is a map of Washington, D.C. The blue dots are places where people have tweeted from, and the red dots or orange dots are places where people have 
have uploaded pictures into Flickr. There's an interesting little look at, at the penetration of those two social media in that place. Okay, what's next for us? Wow, we've got so much on the horizon and there's so much content about that in these next two days that I'm just gonna touch on a couple of points. First of all, the community that was working on Learning Path content has switched its gear to working more on the patterns. And that's fabulous news because the patterns hadn't been receiving enough love lately, but they're super valuable. And you're gonna hear quite a bit about that today. And then we have the next set of summits. We do have a full calendar of summits uh, planned in the future. And uh, you'll hear about the next one for sure towards the end of this meeting. Okay, that's about it for me. And I hope that you enjoy your time. Feel free to reach out to me in either of these places. I'll see you in the chat because I'm moderating quite a bit. And thank you again for joining us. We're very happy to see you. We hope that you really have a good time. Bye-bye.